Hi, everybody. I'm just so excited to um, open this. I opened it j just a little bit because I knew this, I was gonna, it took me a long time just to get this part off of here without ripping anything. I slowly pulled this up. Otherwise, you've been waiting for me forever to get that. But I haven't taken a look at anything yet. But I've been waiting for this. This is many fairy tales and deities and folklore from, you know, Arabic countries, uh, Hawaiian, Asian. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, look at this full card. Instead of a doggy to take her new journey with, she's got fishies. That beautiful mermaid. Oh, this is, I like the feel of this cardstock. It feels... Uh, like linen nice texture it's not too thin so and it, it's not too thick so it will shuffle pretty good you can see the texture so we'll take a look at the texture at this some more in just a moment they ha they sell a book separately for like fifteen dollars and the decks under 20. But I didn't buy the extra book. Uh, tells you how to read tarot, the suits, the numbers, one through king, one card spread, three card spreads, a sample card interpretation, five card spread. Uh, and then they go into the cards. Ah, the the Little Mermaid, Denmark, Danish fairy tale. I would not have thought that was the Little Mermaid because I'm so used to her having red hair from Disney. The fool rests on the pinnacle of decision. She is ready to dive out of her subconscious and into the physical world to transform from an animal into a human. She is carefree and excited by a new life, regardless of warning, upright meaning, beginnings, possibility, impulsiveness, innocence, a free spirit. Definitely Ariel for the low ram rate. Reversed, apathy, hesitation, faulty choice, doldrums, recklessness. So that's also in color. I love it was in color. Very cool. So cute. I'm a crazy dog girl. Okay, let's look at these cards. So here's the little mermaid. The magician. Okay, we got her. Um, she still looks like uh, Cinderella. I gotta look. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm so excited. You're probably curious as I am. Is that Cinderella? The Fairy Godmother. So I'm going to say, yeah, she's the Fairy Godmother from Cinderella. So let's see if it open a little bit so we can look at that. And, oh, and these are the pumpkins that she changes into the, the coach and the uh, mice into the horses. High Priestess. Oh, I wonder if she's Scheherazade. Gonna tell them him the stories. Yes, Scheherazade, awesome. She keeps telling him stories night after night for a thousand one nights because you know he's gonna behead her, like he does all his consorts or whatever he calls them. Great music too. Great classical piece of music. Man, I have the, the books of this story. It's a, many books. The Empress. She looks like uh, Mary. If she's Muslim, then it's Miriam. Oh, it's, no, she's uh, from Mexico, the Our Lady of Guadalupe. She does look very motherly. The Emperor, the Ultimate Father. I'll try not to look at every one of them. The Hierophant. 
Here's a bull skull, the traditional uh, religious leader, education. Oh, look at the lovers here. This is like Beauty and the Beast. Yes, it is Beauty and the Beast. Very cool. I'm so you know you get so um used to seeing Disney's everything. The chariot. Cool. His uh were pulled by these fish. They are working together with him. Oh, strength she has. It looks like a lion with a alligator face. Almost looks like she's playing him like a guitar. But this is about inner strength. This is not about forceful strength. Like the old way when it was called the force and it was a position 11 and this was justice card. Then it was forceful. The hermit taking time to look in within with a white stag, a white winged reindeer. The wheel of fortune. This guy looks so happy. He's on the top of the wheel. Everything's going his way. Karma is with him. He lived a good life before. Justice. Okay, is this uh, scales? I can't tell. About being fair, truth. Oh, look at this hanged man. Actually, hanged woman. Getting new perspective. She looks so peaceful. The artwork is incredible. I love it. Oh, I didn't even take a look at the backs. Fully reversible. Very beautiful. Oh, I love it. I think I love everything about this. This is a beautiful death card. Beautiful transformation. This person's shadow puts a skull face on the curtains. That's a serious transformation. Temperance. About balance and moderation. What we all strive to achieve. Very beautiful. Sitting on the lotus. Comes up out of the mud every day. The muddy water. The devil. He always plays the snake in the Garden of Eden. He takes a form as a goat and, and a snake. He can take any form. In the movies. It's about, you know, ego, bondage, you know, drug addiction. I always like to, it's to monkey on the back to me card. You know, you're getting addicted to whatever. It doesn't have to be drugs. It could be gambling. Things that destroy your life and put you in bondage. Tower, chaos, upheaval. Look, it looks like a Rapunzel's hair. Oh, and it was cut off and she's falling and here's a prince. The star. Healing, hope, inspiration. She's holding this lamb. How beautiful. The moon. I think it looks like Mulan. I don't know. Look, we got these uh, little um, raccoons instead of wolves and a dog. No lobster or crawfish. Sun, raw. The sun god. Bliss, victory, success. Oh, look how cute. Judgment, rebirth. Ooh. 
look, we can see up her skirt. <laughs> I, I just couldn't help that. The world, enjoy this moment. You have completed this cycle. Enjoy, enjoy that for a few moments before you take off on your new adventure or whatever you've completed. Ace of Cups. Your heart is full. You are complete and ready to start a new love here. It's Gilgamesh. And a person made to be his friend start out kind of rocky. This can be a love card. It can be a business relationship. Any kind of relationship, you know. Not all relationships are love. Three of Cups. This is um, usually I, I think of tribes and stuff. But in this picture, I'm thinking uh, they're playing the women off each other, you know. Adultery. Four of Cups. Now, I like this. He doesn't ha look bored. Or she. Looks like they're getting grounded. Not like in trouble, but you know, getting their fe feet firmly planted on the ground. She really looks like she's in bereavement in the Five of Cups here. Look, she's still got two cups standing. Things are still good. Not everything's bad. Oh, this is a sweet Six of Cups. I love it. This ice mountain back here. Oh, that is sweet. Seven of Cups. You've got so many choices. You need to make wise ones. Never trust the genie. So if this is Aladdin, don't trust the genie. And uh, the Middle East, the genie always wants to hurt the people. So don't trust the genie. Pick wisely. Eight of Cups. Whatever the... Uh, kind of relationship, work, love, whatever, family, you've worked on it. There is no fixing it. It is only unhealthy for you. You must walk away to take care of yourself. Nine of cups. This looks like serious contentment. They both look so happy. Ten of Cups. This is a beautiful, happy family. They got their new baby and they got their family who lives in the sea there. Very happy. The Page of Cups, the messenger. He doesn't have a little fishy in there, but he's got a little rabbit bringing the message. The Knight of Cups. So this is Prince Charming. He's got a big bird, a hawk. He's the knight in shining armor. He's very good at romancing chicks. Or dudes. Could be whatever. Queen of Cups. She is always very grounded and very loving. She, she is very complete. But if she's single, she is ready to have a relationship. She is someone you can talk to. Even this king, he's someone who will listen. He's uh, sensitive enough to listen and not just blow you off. Yeah, whatever, whatever. He's not that kind of guy. Ace of coins. I always think this is, it feels always so magical to me. And I love the artwork with the flowers here. That if you put the work in, the universe is supporting you to start whatever this new business or financial job, you will be successful. The universe doesn't like it when you, they're like, okay, we're, we're working with you and you do nothing. Two of coins. We got them right here and a bear with a baby's legs and a baby with bear legs. She is balancing them. Time, money, 
resources. And she's got them securely, even with those babies in her hands or arms. Three of coins. This is about working together. She looks like she's working with uh, the wild things. She's very happy. I love the smile on the face. Four of coins. She looks like she's okay. I got to hide my resources here. Sometimes it can be hoarding, but I like to think of it more as you need to budget. Okay, I'm going to uh, put these in savings, and this is what I can use to pay the bills. Five of coins. Look, she is sitting out in the snow. They always portray, are portraying this, you know. We got a church here with the lights on. You can see it, and she's got no socks, no shoes. Her clothes are tattered. She can just knock on the door or walk right on in, and they will be very happy to help her. Usually she has a person with her to show that she's not alone. But, she, you know, even though she's just one person, she's not alone. There are people in here that will be with her. Six of coins. This is sharing of resources. This looks like a nice old grandmother who wants to share with these beautiful bugs. They're like beetles, all kinds. Oh, it's a cute little dog. I love, it's, the art is just fantastic. Beautiful and vibrant. Makes me feel good, you know? Seven of coins. This is about planting your seeds. This is not instant gratification card. This is, you plant your seeds and you wait and you pour water on it. You do whatever you got to do to tend to it. And then you're going to see it coming up. And it's a success. It's not like, okay, I bought a lottery ticket. I'm rich. Eight of coins. This is working on your craft and mastering it. It looks like it's got a lot of, uh, Thorns and it's poking her a lot and hurting her. She's even crying. I want to see that one. Eight of coins. Six swans. Germany... German fairy tale. The eight of coins represents the long haul, the slough in the middle of a project that needs to be completed. The little princess needs to keep weaving neat nettles in silence if she wishes to set her cursed brother free. Craftsmanship, commitment, determination, ambition, con concentration. Reverse, repetition, poor quality, rushing, bad reputation. Poor girl, the poor little princess. She is working very hard here. It's not just to master her skills here, but it's to actually set her brother free. Nine of coins. Okay, this is about you have worked hard. You've got your money. You've saved. You can take a break. We've got this beautiful garden here. The, he's got his bird. And he's got the watermelon, the sweet things in life. Life is good. This is taking a well-deserved break. Ten of coins. This is, you got your older couple, all your family members. This is family money, inheritance, retirement, family legacy. Can be a good family legacy or a bad family legacy of abuse or or a legacy of uh, a high achievers, a happy family, so many kind of all oh, like white stags, so beautiful. Page of coins. She's very excited to start her new reindeer uh, herding job. That's what she looks like she's doing there. They all look so happy. 
Ah, he's got a, this knight of coins. Well, of course, it would be a bull. I mean, this is an earth card. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Definitely looks like a uh, Taurus. And this card, th this knight is always the slowest knight in all the tarot decks. In all tarot decks. You know, we got the wand knight, the swords, and the cups. And then this guy. The swords are super, the fastest. This is the slowest. This guy thinks everything through and won't move and do anything until he knows what's going to happen. That's why I love my Taurus husband. He is very good knowing planning things so well because I am not a planner. I may be a Virgo, but I am not a planner. I am like out there. I'm very creative. Queen of coins. She can make the bacon and bring it home and fry it up in the pan. I always think of that from when I was a little kid. Makes the money, handles the house, the kids. She can just do it all. King of coins. I always think of this as the guy, you know, like a CEO, president of some company. Bill Gates. Steve Jobs. That kind of person. Ace of Swords, this, here is this sword cutting through and you are seeing things newly. You've got a new perspective on things. The new light. Two Swords. I like that she's not blindfolded, but she's got her eyes closed and right now she's in indecision. But she will make her choice. Oh, the Three of Swords. Sorrow and heartbreak. Always some harsh words that are very hard to get over. Maybe you shouldn't. Four of swords. Seriously, he's seriously injured. He needs to rest and recuperate from this. I don't like that card. Looks hurt. Five of swords. Always conflict and tension. Serious. He seriously hurt her. I love the Six of Swords. We're leaving the troubled waters going to smooth. I like it that they, they don't have the ferryman with them. They got it's just them. They're going. They are ready. They know what to do. Seven of Swords, deceit. Look at this beautiful fox. He's like, I'm getting out of here with these. Eight of Swords. Always looks like you're so trapped, but you're not. See, she could just walk right through. Mo mostly trapped right here in the head. Just calm down, breathe in and out slowly, and you can figure it out. Nine of Swords, nightmares, anxiety, can be, become depression. He looks seriously depressed. Ten of Swords, betrayed, stabbed in the back. We don't even see the, person's, the person at all except for the hands and arms. This is, it's the Ten of Swords. It's done. Whatever the relationship is, friends, uh, lovers, work, relationship, whatever it is. It is the end of the road. You cannot trust them ever again. Walk away. Page of Swords. He's, think of him as always going off to college or maybe high school because he's a teenager. Knight of Swords. Now see, you can see the fastness in this card. Look at the hair. It's blowing in the wind. Things are blowing. There's action going on in the card. You see it in the air, in the clouds. Hastiness. Queen of Swords. Now, this is not a mean woman. I know they call her a cold bitch. She's, um, she's very clear in her mind. She's quick-witted, and she, she likes who she likes. 
You know, she just doesn't have a, a lot of patience. But if you give her a chance, you'll find you'll probably like her. This looks like the phoenix, uh, the king of swords. Gorgeous card. Look at this ace of wands. Beautiful flowers and fire to show that this is the fire sign. Passion and inspiration. Oh, I don't even know the story behind this two of wands. But I mean, he's a two-headed guy. A huge guy. He has a mustache here, not there. I'm sure there's there's something to the story there. Three of Wands. Is you waiting to see the ships come in? Looks like she's hot. Grabbing this ladder, probably leading up to a helicopter or something. Four of Wands. This looks like a marriage. This looks like a Hindu wedding ceremony. Very beautiful. It can be celebration, home, engagement. It's a very happy card. And this, the artwork just makes, and she's blue like Kali. Very beautiful. Oh, five of wands, always competition. The person who's practiced the most will win. They can get a little carried away. Six of Wands, victory. Woohoo, it's a woman. She is she is a victorious. Awesome. Seven of Wands. He is uh, protecting his boundaries here. Saying, stay away. This is mine here. I fought hard and won this. Eight of Wands. Got an answer coming soon. Maybe you're going traveling, but this is a quick card. Nine of Wands, you're tired. You need to take a break. Oh, look how cute the little doll she's got. Artwork is incredible. I love these skulls with the fire flames coming out. And this is, looks like, it is. This is a house with uh, rooster legs and a rooster tail feathers. So cool. Ten of Wands. This is too much. You are carrying too much. Actually, it took the flesh off your bones. Usually, you got to put something down or ask for some help. You don't want to injure yourself. This is, you are putting, taking too much on your shoulders, injuring your back, your neck, your shoulders. You're not supposed to do so much. It's not good for you. Page of Wands. He's got the energy to start this new project. The Knight. I always think of this as a lustful fellow, but this is a lustful gal. The Queen. Serious social butterfly. She's like shaking her hips going, come on guys. Or everybody dance with me. Oh, how beautiful this King of Wands is. That is beautiful. Let's shuffle them. I'm going to try a riffle shuffle. I don't like to riffle shuffle because, you know, my cards end up being bowed. And some cards actually, even brand new, will just uh, flake off the backs. I can't do that uh, other side, the bridge, but this uh, shuffle's pretty good. And then I go and mess it up. I'm making a mess out of my shuffle here. Let's pick a card. Let's spread them out. I love to fan my cards before I pick a card. Hey, 
And of course, I got my little friend here, Zero. I have three dogs. I am a serious dog girl. The devil, the snake. So I think it'll be in the beginning. That's where the major arcana is. Okay, here we go. Brazil, Brazilian mythology. The devil gives in to ego, lusting for unnecessary or harmful things, unwilling to leave or negative situations. It is a dragon sitting upon a pile of gold it does not need, a person setting a forest on fire for their own gain. Upright, greed, controversy, violence, strange experiences, addiction. Reverse, release. Enlightenment, and power reclaimed, power reclaimed, divorce, moving on. And this, this deck gives me the feeling of it's going to be a lot of fun to read with. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Tarot of the Divine. Let's... The box is awesome, nice and thick. Oh, and it comes with a ribbon to get the cards out with. So, very beauty, beautiful. Yoshi Yoshitani created this. Beautiful gold on there. So I hope you like this unboxing. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and taking care of yourselves. And uh, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, everybody. Bye.